Hello and welcome to Let's Try. This is Undergrave. Um, I can't remember why I wish listed this game. Probably it was uh, I stumbled across a YouTube video or something. It's probably Splattercat. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, I do. I do enjoy their their output of just like an absurd number of games I've never heard of, and uh, they tend to also follow a lot of tabletop or not tabletop. Sorry, uh, traditional roguelike is esque ish stuff. So you know. Our, our tastes align, what can I say? Um, but anyway, this game looks really cool. It went on sale, so I picked it up. It reminds me very heavily of games like Hoplite and more recently, I guess, uh, Alina of the Arena, which I, uh, I'm i a huge fan of. I love really kind of like tight, um, almost dry tactics. Um, when it comes to like tactics games, I have like a, I have kind of a range where like, if it's, uh, if it's, I don't know, like really crunchy kind of like Iron Man style tactics like XCOM um, with like mist mechanics, I, I tend to stay, I don't know, away-ish. But um, if it's like really kind of like cut and dry tight tactics like um, uh, into, into the Breach or like chest style tactics, I, I really enjoy that. Sorry. Look around. You may think you died, but nothing here will be so easy to conquer even death. Use your skills, pray to your gods, you will need it. Good luck. So, um, yeah, I did have a, a quick look at this game. I was like, yeah, this list looks exactly like my my tastes um, for a, a, a nice crunchy or dry tactics game. So let's let's see what we can do here. Um, how does how does one move? WASD. So I'm wondering if we have um, diagonal movement. Probably not. Some that's that's always the uh, the first question when it comes to these kind of games. And I mean, like, is this a tra traditional roguelike? Um, how how can you really uh, tell? I, I'm not sure, but like, I know it has turn-based tile movement. So that's our, our first um, kind of question answered. And from what I saw from the storefront, we have like very much just like these uh, arena style conflicts and we have to figure out how to, how to kill these guys. We have dash, throw, we can throw a certain number of times. I, I assume. Oh, I see. It costs two AP. We have eight AP. So we can throw our, our sword. We we killed. Um, do we get our sword back? I hope we get our sword back. Rain of swords. Not sure. Can we dash? We can dash like. It seems like we can kind of like rook style dash. So could we like dash all the way over there and get our sword? Ooh, okay. That just like straight up kills. And then we get our sword back. So um, I'm not sure yet what the parameters are. Oh, oh, you're dead. Okay. I feel like, I feel like the, we just got absurdly lucky with, or not even lucky with the, the exit appearing right where our sword was. Um, and then we got that like freebie of the the sword falling from the sky. There's some interesting stuff going on here I'm not yet sure how it all works. So uh, jump this allows us to jump anywhere. We want kind of wish we had a uh, mouse Like a cursor controls um, I'm sure there's a way to do that, but I wonder if this game is on mobile. I don't say that as a descent. I actually um, I, I'm usually on the hunt for like decent mobile games um, so why don't we go ahead and we're gonna throw our sword and <clears throat> what I'd like uh, there's there doesn't seem to be a weight so what I'm gonna do is just move forward once and then dash forward and that way we get our sword back and it seems like every turn we get a certain amount of AP back I wonder if we could can we throw you can throw your sword a certain amount of oh we took a damage there can we just like bump style kill them yes Okay, so we've taken our first damage that it answers one question is um what happens when you take damage is it like one hit and you're dead i actually hit q thinking i was going to be able to move diagonally there is a little bit of delay between movement but i think that's actually for the best because this is the kind of game you're gonna you're gonna want to think about each movement so we're gonna go we're gonna do much the same here we're gonna throw our sword I'm hoping the zombie um, goes down once. Yes. And we're going to use that dash. What? Did not mean to do that.
Um, okay, that, that's kind of a problem. I need to... Well, all right. Yeah, that, that was a big mistake, and it cost me a lot. So jumping apparently knocks enemies back a bit. Okay, this is this is not going well. They they get a free hit if they touch you. Okay, I want to throw our sword and then I want to dash. There we go. That's that's what we want. You don't get a you don't get to kill the zombie if you don't have your sword. I'm pretty sure the dash you go through zombies and you don't take damage so long um but if you have the sword you get a free kill. Reaching the upgrade rooms saves your progress and your pr upgrades. You can now close the game and resume it later. Leaving the game in any other room will reset your current run progress. Interesting. So we have um, upgrades. Three different upgrades. Iron Knuckles. Punch attacks without your weapon deal damage. User becomes invulnerable for three turns after taking a hit. Recovers 3 HP. Well, apparently that answers one question is like, how do we get our health back? And the answer is we don't really um, It counts as an upgrade <laughs> So I, I for making a very stupid mistake um, cost cost us quite a bit of health So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of kite this guy in here and Then I'm gonna dash into him We'll use another dash to kill this guy. There we go. And then we can recover our AP. Uh, AP. And I, I have to imagine that you just like recharge your... Yeah, your AP just recharges at the end of the, uh, the level. I'm a little bit worried about when we start seeing um, some new enemies. So we're going to dash through this guy. And what I'd like to do is... Oh no, so the... The throw uh, has a range to it, so we should. They, they're in range now. See now, the nice thing about the dash here is that we will pick up the sword and then kill the zombie at the same time. Of course, we stopped at the zombie, so that that was a, a maybe a little bit of a misplay. And we got, I got to remember to use my jump because the jump is actually a good way of knocking. Uh, enemies back a little bit worried about this new enemy type. Yeah, I was a little bit. I was worried um, They They have like kind of rook style movement. So let's go ahead and kill the zombie here And we'll kill that zombie there I have to imagine they are zombies like, you know, what else what else would they be? Okay, there we go I guess we'll throw the sword. I wonder, um, can I like throw? You can't throw your weapon into the exit. So I don't know. Did I just get like absurdly lucky with the exit appearing under our sword? Okay, that doesn't seem fair. They, they seem to be able to move like do do kind of whatever they want. All right, we're going to we're going to kill this zombie here i don't know i, I got a, a a new thing i got something there um so what i want to do is actually move over here because i'm going to knock them both back and they're stunned now so yeah they have a certain amount of stun and it seems like kills are actually free like if you bump style kill a zombie um it, it's a free action so this is good to know. These are these are helpful things. I'm not really a fan of what's going on here. Can we throw? Yes, we can. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw our sword there. All right, we're, we've made it to our next upgrade station. Unfortunately, we're still very low health. So I'm probably just going to get grab health again. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Heal is an option. Lightweight. Recover two AP every turn when not holding your weapon. The user can throw weapons through solid objects. No, I'm, I'm probably just gonna still grab our HP. Kind of wish there were other methods of uh, of getting health other than like foregoing an upgrade. It just means you have to like play perfectly. So I don't know. Um, I guess yeah. How how does one 
kill this rat. I guess we can do this. Because that stuns them. Uh, I was kind of hoping I could get a couple of kills with one dash. I don't like what's going on right now. Let's do a jump. Right here is actually perfect. Because it's going to stun... Oh, I was really hoping we could get like two kills with one dash. I didn't mean to throw our weapon. That was a mistake. I guess the dash is actually cheaper. Um, it seems to be cheaper when you aren't holding your your sword. Oh, that was it. Yeah, we took a free damage there. Oh, no, there's a there's a glob there. I don't know what the glob was for. Shoot. Okay, there's things happening. I still don't fully understand everything. Okay, I want to jump like this. Because then I get to kill the, the rat. And then I can kill the zombie. I also grabbed this a AP charge. Okay, so I imagine that means that we can... Um... <clears throat> I imagine that's exactly what that sounds like. It seems like the zombies are well programmed. They, their, their uh, AI seems to dictate that they do not end up in a line, so you can't do like a really satisfying kill through two of them at once. Uh oh, we have a new, new enemy altogether. Not a huge fan of whatever that is. Okay, let's do. Um, oh, we can't jump. Okay, can we jump like this? I wonder what happens when you jump on an enemy. We, you we, you end up killing them. Okay, that's kind of cool. So the rat is stunned right now. I have to hope that it's blocking whatever that gruesome brain thing is. So we're going to go and grab our sword. And I'm going to throw the sword again. Oh, we're out of AP. We're not going to throw the sword again. Ouch. All right, well, that was unfortunate. Uh, we have enough to jump again, so let's go ahead and jump. Can I, I just want to kill this thing. I don't know what it is, but I don't want to find out. Oh, that was so stupid. The fact that they, they do damage when they move up to you is, is a huge problem. I'm going to end up having to take health again if I survive this next round, that is. I should be so lucky as to be able to take health as an option. Um, these rats are honestly the biggest problem right now. Oh, yeah, that's a nice jump right there. Um, I want to kill this rat. I do kind of want to kill that brain. All right, let's kill the rat. Ouch. That was dumb. That was me being dumb. All right, let's try it. I'm going to do uh, one more round of this because this is this is so cool right now so far. Um, that was like, oh, is there like four different? So th this was like not even the game yet. Like this is the first mission, it seems. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta, you know, turn this into routine. Why, why didn't we go all the way there? That, that doesn't make sense to me. That needs an explanation, honestly. I guess, uh, the arrows, I thought the arrows indicated that um we would go all the like until we hit a wall or something but the arrows actually indicate like where we stop um really unfortunate finding that out in exactly that way but that's fine we know now so we're gonna throw our sword like this and then we're gonna grab our sword and kill and that's exactly i think how you want to do things you can actually use dash for free when the round is over, which is kind of fun. We've taken one damage, which is really, really unfortunate. We didn't have to take any damage. Um, can we... Oh, I was hoping we could get a really clever jump off. 
um let's just do a dash so i i do think it's clever that um the dash costs more when you're holding your sword um yeah okay perfect that's a clever mechanic because it means it, it that kind of encourages you to throw your sword because then you can get like in you know good clever clever situations you can uh you can get more than than the one kill you can get two kills if you're if you're crafty also it's good mobility too right okay let's uh this is, seems like a good situation for a jump now the problem is is there's that guy right there so if i try and kill that zombie below me for free then like oh we're out of ap dang okay so we get this for free um the the zombies are are well designed they know not to um line themselves up conveniently i kind of wish that wasn't the case but it is what it is i, I kind of wish there was like um maybe like a chance at least for them to line up like if there's a lot of zombies you have to imagine they they're not going to be smart enough to to avoid that dash range up well that seems really good iron knuckles punch attacks without your weapon deal damage now i don't know what that means because like so far everything's been an instant kill so does that mean we can kill with our iron knuckles i don't know i think i'd rather take the the dash range up Now that I know that the dash has a range. Okay. Now the thing I'm a little bit concerned about is that rat. Uh, unfortunately, we're not in a situation where we can kill it. Um, can we throw, we can, we could kill it now. I actually feel like a jump would be better. This is a pretty good jump. I'm actually wondering if this would be better. Let's do this. Cause that blocks off that other zombie as well. Hey, is that an is that a double kill? I see. There we go. So it is possible. You can get a double kill if you're if you're crafty. And that dash is nice and long now, so we can uh dash and collect our sword and kill at the same time. For one AP. Oh, I, I forgot the, the the rats get to get to move twice. They get a double movement. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. I, I feel like the jump is also cheaper. Nice. That was, uh, that was actually pretty smooth. Okay, I just need to be a bit more careful about that rat. Oh, that was dumb. We need to use a, an extra dash. It uses more AP, but that's okay. I'd rather use up more AP than, um... I don't think I'm going to be able to collect that glob. Let's go ahead and throw our sword. No, that's it. Is that a throw? Oh, wait, we're out of AP. Oh, wow. Uh, not good. Hmm. We are out. Of okay, we can use an AP charge to save a damage sucks that we have to do that what we could do um to make up for this is we're gonna jump here get that kill and then collect that glob i wasn't gonna be able to collect it but now i i have to in order to justify using that ap charge in a, in a really not too you know tricky situation okay the rat the rat is really the big problem um 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna throw at the rat. Dash, get our sword. Um, we're gonna do just a basic movement. Kind of wish I hadn't done that already, because now I'm gonna have to jump if I want to avoid taking damage. Okay, let's let's jump over here, kill the zombie, and then I'm gonna move upwards a little bit just to recover some AP. Uh, is that a jump? I, I was doing a jump. I meant to do a dash. Okay. And we're pretty much good to go here. There we go. So we get another upgrade. I kind of want to grab another upgrade instead of healing. Throw range up. That's kind of nice. Last breath. Skills can be used when AP is at one. Interesting. Throw costs one AP less. That's really interesting. Yeah, let's grab that because that kind of in a way lessens the uh, cost of all of our abilities. Because um, throwing is the, the main... Like once we when we don't have our, our sword, that's when things get cheap. Yeah, this is good now. Um, okay, we're maybe not in a great situation now. We can throw a jump for cheap. Uh, I don't like the situation that I've put myself in. Oh god, I'm so glad that the rat didn't get a free attack there. Can we, we can't, can we throw here? Yeah, we can throw here. And then we dash. And then we throw. Nice. I should uh, put, you know, form a habit to um, throw diagonally more often because it is an option and I just don't see it as being one as often. Okay, we want to... We can't throw through solid objects. Um, okay, I was... Hmm. We're just going to spend the 4 AP. Spending 4 AP to get rid of that rat right away. Not, not a terrible use. Can we kill... Oh, double kill right there would have been nice. Oh! Nice. They still gave it to us. Oh, no. I, I went through the exit without collecting my sword. What happens now? Okay. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, I'm in a very bad situation right now. Okay, we're going to do this. I'm going to take a damage, but I have to be okay with it. Okay. I did that to myself. That was just, that was just really dumb. I wanted to grab the glob, but it's better to kill the zombie. Uh, okay, I need to survive one more bout. And then I can maybe heal. Healing at this point would make... It would actually be sensible. Sensible? Sensible. Okay, we're going to do this because then I can kill this. Um, actually, you know what? It would be better if I could if I just killed it normally. Um, not quite. Feeling like I should kill the zombie. I, I still don't know what these brain things do, and I don't really want to find out. Okay, we're going to throw... That's fine. That's fine. Oh, wait a minute. They're not they're not dead. That's interesting. I don't know why they weren't dead. Okay, so we're healing for sure. 
Unless something really cool presents itself. Punching bag. Recover all AP when you take a hit. Nah. It's it's nice, but I would uh, I would rather take it like early on. So this is a in theory our last bout for I think is what is the first mission? Okay, what I'm really interested in right now is this jump right here is going to kill one zombie, stun the rat, and I'm going to kill that last zombie. I really want to grab the glob again, but it's it's just not feasible. I'd rather get a free, like a safe kill. Okay, can we get both of these? No. Can we, if I do it again... Oh, we can't do it again because I don't have the AP to make it happen. Can we throw a kill? Okay, cool. That was easy. I, you know, maybe not easy, but uh, I got to... I, I pulled it off. I'm worried we're in, since we're in our last like um kind of bout, I'm a little bit concerned that um we're gonna see a new enemy type that I don't know how to deal with. Yeah, this isn't good. We're gonna take a damage here, and I don't think there's any way I can stop that from happening. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was so stupid. Stupid of me. Oh, we got a couple of kills, but that doesn't really make up for the damage I took needlessly. Okay. So these guys take two hits. News to me, how did I make it this far without finding that out? It seems like one hit stuns them. Okay, I'm, I'm just like... Not... How, how is it that I... Didn't find this out? That they need two hits? How did I m manage to kill them like how many times without finding that out? Just very strange. Um... I'd really like to kill this rat basically as soon as possible. Uh, one, two. I could, if I move here, if I move up one, then I could do a nice jump. Uh, I just want to throw my dagger or my sword, I, I guess. Now, this is unfortunate because now I'm in, I've, I've put myself in a situation like this. What I'm going to do is jump and get it. They're stunned. We have an AP charge. So let's, I think we could just dash through them twice. I just need one AP for a throw. Oh, uh, we only have one health left. What I'm thinking this is this is not great. I need I need a jump is what I need. Um yeah, I've I've put myself in a very bad situation. I actually feel like a dash would be a better idea just to get ourselves out of that. Let's, um, throw kill the zombie. That's okay. Um, again, I'm gonna, it's not a great situation. What I actually think would be better is I'm gonna throw our sword there and then dash, and that saves us one AP. Okay, yeah, this is this is the situation we find ourselves in constantly, isn't it? Um, okay, what we'll do is we'll dash through. There we go. Uh, and now I just need to do two hits to them. Nice. 
Ah, uh, that was really close. And I have a funny feeling we're going to have to fight a boss. Yeah. Ramus the Beastmaster. We only have one health. They can move diagonally. Okay, so that's good to know. Uh, they also summon enemies. That's also good to know. Okay, they can move out of the way, like, freely. This is already kind of a nightmare. So they can just like brush off my stun attacks. Um, hmm. Okay, we're in a situation where we can actually hit them maybe. That did actually do some damage. So we can actually hurt them. I was starting to wonder, honestly. We could do like this. Yeah, they, they do not care at all about our stunning ability. So we need to kind of anticipate their moves a little bit. And um, they can they move two away and they can also move Diagonally, they can also do a, uh, a knight chess move. So, um, I, I kind of feel like... Okay, we can throw our, our weapon at them. This was a mistake. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to have to jump to gra grab our sword. Fortunately, they don't seem to um, have an attack. Oh, what? What? I thought this I thought the rat in front of me was stunned So they weren't gonna be able to attack me. Okay. Well, that's a shame. Um, this is really cool I kind of wouldn't mind doing more of this of this game Um, maybe it's like a mini series or something. This would be really cool Uh, this game is Undergrave. If you uh, enjoyed this definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy